In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this text glitch effect. To get started, I just added a regular text title to my timeline from the effects library. Okay, now in the effects library toolbox, select effects and drag the adjustment clip onto the track above your text. Don't follow along with this, but from here, I normally go to the color tab and we'd animate our effects in this keyframe panel. Unfortunately, there's a glitch that doesn't allow us to position the playhead, it just disappears wherever I click. To fix this, let's go back to the edit tab. Then at the top, click view and select show power bins. Now just go over to the media pool to see the power bins. All right, next let's drag our adjustment clip from the timeline into the power bins master area. Then drag the adjustment clip from the power bin onto your timeline's adjustment clip to override it. All right, make sure you select your adjustment clip and go over to the color tab. In the keyframes panel, we're now able to move around the playhead. Now that we have that sorted out, let's go up to open effects and type JPEG in the search box. Drag the JPEG damage effect onto your adjustment clip node. In the settings for JPEG damage, first I'll decrease the quality so that it makes my text look glitchier. Next, click the keyframe toggle next to resolution to create a starting keyframe for the glitch animation. Use the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the playhead forward anywhere from 5 to 15 frames. You don't have to be exact since we want this to look random. Then change the resolution to 30 which will automatically create your second keyframe. Keep moving the playhead 5 to 15 frames forward and then change the resolution to 0 or 30 each time for as long as you want your glitch effect to play for. Okay, now when I play this back, I have this pixelated glitch-like effect. Let's make it look even better. Right-click your node, and go to Add Node, Add Serial. Now you have a node for the next effect. Next, in Open Effects, search for Camera Shake, and drag it onto your second node. For the Camera Shake, I'm going to increase the speed scale all the way up because glitches move fast. Further down, I'll increase my pan amplitude and title amplitude so my text moves around more. And I'll increase the PTR speed to 1 so that my shake is super fast and glitch-like. Finally, under shake quality, I'm going to increase the randomness scale so that it moves more unpredictably like a glitch would. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking text glitch effect. If you'd like to add a little RGB effect to it, right click your second node and go to add node add serial. Then in open effects, search for prism, and drag the prism blur onto your third node. And in the settings for prism blur, increase the aberration distance for a more visible RGB split. Alright, I think this looks really good now. While I told you my settings, keep in mind that you can play around with your own for each effect to customize it the way you want. Thanks for watching and see you next time.